this will be a very short video about the test oscillator that I published earlier and I will give the link. Here's the schematic. Here it is how it was made. And now I made a coil of uh, 600 windings. And I was very, very interested in, say, um, what a frequency could be. Anyway, so now I read the frequency. We look at the frequency. It is 139 kilohertz. This is a waveform of the oscillator. And of course, when I stick a coil, sorry, a rod in ferrite rod into it, the frequency will go down. So now we are, say, on the lowest frequency that it can make. This is noise, by the way. 45 kilo cycles with 600 windings on a, a paper roll of uh, 1 centimeter diameter. The wire is 0 0.2 millimeters. A lacquered copper wire, etc., etc. And well, when I push in the rod, the amplitude goes down, but anyway, in a kind of way, logical. Thanks for watching. Want to, wanted to do more experiments with these coils, say, trying to avoid that ferrite rod. Trying to say receive long wave radio stations in a more easy way by only using say a certain amount of windings without say a ferrite rod that had to be sticked in. 100 picofarad capacitor here. And when I bridge it, of course, the frequency goes down. Well, let's look at that. 133, 132 kilo cycles, and now 138, no, 139 kilo cycles. Uh, of course, say such a capacitor of 100 picofarad doesn't have a big impact on the frequency. You will surely know it when you know something about radio theory on these frequencies and more in in general 